we are going to cover enterprise security from installation to setup. Um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna leave any stone unturned. So, uh, I, I encourage you to look at the bottom, check the bookmarks, jump to the sections that you're not uh, familiar with. We're gonna, we are actually going to start with actually taking a virtual image, creating a virtual machine, installing Splunk on it, putting enterprise security on it. So we are gonna cover every piece of the of the process so feel free to jump down below hit the bookmark to the section that you really want to watch anyway uh let's get moving so we're going to start creating a vm i'm in my esxi instance you can do this in a hyper v or whatever uh vmware you're using or build it uh bare bones and actually have a, a, a dedicated hardware if you're doing this for a, a production environment Splunk recommends dedicated hardware, but that's not always the case. Anyway, I'm gonna go create a VM. I'm gonna create a new VM. And I'm gonna call it ES Splunk. OS family is Linux. I'm gonna build a Ubuntu box, 64-bit. Grab from my data store. I'm going to make this a four core box gig. Let's move it to eight gig. Uh, standard recommendation for an enterprise security is usually 16 cores, 32 gig of RAM. Um, this is for my home. I'm not going to have nearly that much stuff going through. I'll, I'll talk about some considerations to go there. A lot of it is how much stuff you turn on. Basically, they call them correlation searches. The more correlation searches you have, the more RAM and uh, CPU you need. The more logs you ingest, the more logs you're looking for, it's going to take longer to search through, thereby you're going to need more processing. Um, but if you're just playing around testing with it, you don't need nearly the, uh, the resources. I'm going to bump this up to 40 gig. Uh, leave everything else alone. Grab my data store. We're going to make it, I got a 2004. I probably should use a later version, but whatever. I'm going to, I'll be 2004. That's fine. And done. I hit finish, check my, verify everything here, four core, eight gig RAM, 40 gig of storage space, I'm good. So if I go and start this up, let's maximize the screen here. Some of this, we're just going to pause the video and then let it skip forward when decisions are to be made so you don't have to watch everything. All right, I'm going to choose my language. For me, English is the language I'm going to use. And for some reason, I am not getting keyboard. There we go. Um, we'll just keep it. We don't need to update. We're gonna have an English layout. All right, it grabbed an IP address. I don't need a proxy. Don't need it, I'll leave the mirror. I'm not gonna encrypt anything, so I'm good there. Basically, I'm just keeping the standard layout here. I'm happy with the setup here. Let's just let it run. I'm gonna name this box. I don't need a token. I like to have open SSH on there so that I can just SH into my box. We're good. Is there anything I want to turn on? I am a big fan of having PowerShell turned on. I just like PowerShell. It gives me more options when I'm doing scripting. Um, so, done. We'll just let this install. All right, so now we've got everything running. It's it's installed. We're ready to hit the reboot now. All right, just make sure my uh, installation software is off. So we're going to come here, edit. We 
this back. That way it doesn't keep trying to boot from the ISO. While that's running, I'm going to go to Splunk Base. And I'm going to download. I don't want to go to Splunk Base. I don't know what I'm taking here. I'm going to go to Splunk.com. Splunk. Go get my free trial. Oh, and go to Linux. I'm just going to download the RPM. Agree. I'm going to grab the W get here so that it will go. I can push it through. I'm actually I'm done with using ESXi. And we're just going to new window. SSH. What's my IP address? I guess I do need it still. Be able to get to it. SSH. I think it's 147, but let's validate that. 147. So 192.168.1.147. Yes. Okay, now I should be able to just paste the wget command and it will download it. Then I'll have the latest version of Splunk. I'm going to go to Git. GitLab, GitHub, Lame Creations. I want a script that's going to make this a lot easier for me. Lame Training Splunk App. There we go. And now we see Create Splunk User Account. I'm going to copy this. copy and then I can have it available to me when this is done. And what we're going to do is this is going to set Splunk to run as Splunk. It's going to add the user, etc. We can see that script while it's running. It's going to it would if you can do this after you've already installed Splunk. All right, so I'm going to use sudo su, get myself as root. Add user Splunk. All right, that's done. There's my file, so I'm going to tar minus x vf splunk. Well, that was embarrassing. I swear I said click uh, tar, but clearly I grabbed the RPM. So I will be doing it again. All right, we're back. I should have it now, just so I don't mess or I don't get this screwed up. I'm going to clear the screen, get this all in the same. <sighs> Remove Splunk. Let's move this all the way over. Yep, let's get rid of the RPM. Now clear this up again. Tar minus X VCF Splunk. And I'm going to do the minus C option to opt. That should work. I can always check. Go to my Splunk documentation. Yep. XVCF minus C slash opt. Cool. We're good to go. 
If I run that, all right, let's go to CD slash op. Here's my Splunk. If I look at it, it's owned by root. So we're going to just take care of that right now. Splunk dot Splunk. Just be on the safe side. And let's actually. OK, now if I look at it, it's owned by Splunk. And let's now go in up. Let's switch to Splunk, SU Splunk. Now if I go up, Splunk, bin, Splunk, start. Space, get down to the bottom. Accept the license. The administrator password. Put a password in. We notice it's going to want a port for port 8000. So in order to make sure we get access to it, let's just open that up right now. Well, when it's web servers loaded. All right, so sudo ufw allow 8000. Oh, yeah, well, that would help. Let's go. Okay, in theory, if I did this right, I should be able to hit it. And what is my IP address again? Boy, I have a short memory. I think it's 148. 147. 147, and remember to put your 8000 in there. That's a good sign. So let me in. And we've got Splunk up and running. Sweet. All right, so now the next stage is for me to download Enterprise Security. You're, in order to download Enterprise Security, you're going to need to go to Splunk Base. And if you type in Enterprise Security, there is your Splunk Enterprise Security. And you're gonna to need to log in and download. I will need, to, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna log in and show this because um, I have to use different credentials. My lane created works does not have access to this. Um, anyway, so we're going to take care, we're gonna get a version down that I can use. Uh, just log in with credentials. If you do not, if you're not paying for it, you can log in and it will still tell you, you talk to a sales rep to purchase this. That's really what it comes down to. Anyway, um, I will, I'm going to download it. Then we'll, once I have it downloaded, I'll bring back the video.